Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll be exploring the steps for constructing an ellipse using the rectangular method. Okay, so we're going to do it a bit different this time and I'm actually going to show you the end product at the beginning of the video. Good. Now that that is out of the way, so we begin with our rectangle. Everyone knows what a rectangle is, I'm assuming. And the axes for our rectangle are 2400 and 1800. All right. I will tell you why I went with those numbers a little later. Let's just label the axes for now. So we have the major axis being AB and the minor axis being CD. We will also label the center. We will call it O. Okay, so you didn't see what just happened there. I, I intentionally left this out just to shorten the video a bit. But um, AO and OB each line so let's let's take line AO it's divided into three equal parts OB is also divided into three equal parts OC or CO is divided into three equal parts and DO you guessed it it's also divided into three equal parts now the reason why I went with axes of 2400 and 1800 is because they are easily divisible by the numbers 3 and 6 right I didn't want to have to divide the line to do the construction so I went with those numbers I will however link a video below which shows you how to divide any line into equal parts so it doesn't matter what type of the dimensions of your ellipse you can get it done you will also notice that on the extreme left that I have the parts numbered one two three everything is divided and now I'm just inserting my horizontal lines at each division point now this is where things get really really interesting the horizontal lines are important so I'm going from D as you can see here I'm going from D and I'm just pulling these radial lines out to the sides where my horizontal lines began Right, so I did it for each of the intersection as you can see there now this being AutoCAD I'm not gonna pull all these lines so I'm actually going to mirror them to save some time something that you can do also or you may be doing it manually and that's fine so once I have these six lines I'm going to mirror them again so that they appear on the other half or the upper half of the rectangle All right so we have this and this is really really good okay so once we have these lines the next step is really really crucial this is where we establish the points for our ellipse so from D, we're going to pull a line to 1, to point 1 on the horizontal line, as you can see here. Um, just to ensure that it is accurate, I'm going to stop the line at point 1, and then I'll lengthen it. Now, I want to lengthen it so that it touches, or at least goes through, line C1. As you can see there, we have line C1. Our second line from D is going to go through point 2 on the horizontal line, as you can see, and he will go all the way to line C2. And there you have it, line C2. 
Now in both instances, I extended my lines a bit past their point. I like to do that sometimes when I'm using AutoCAD and then I simply go back afterwards and trim the excess. Okay, this is an error. Nice. Let's undo this. Okay, great. Now these two lines are very important because I'm going to use these lines now and I'm just going to use the mirror command. Um, do them on the right side so that we have four. And then I'll use the mirror command again and do the same thing from C so that we have all the points needed to draw our ellipse. Now if you're doing this manually or using some other CAD software, uh, you would know how to maneuver it accordingly, but this is what we need. So now there's a, a bit of a matrix spider web thingy going on here. And, um, it may look confusing, but immediately if you know what you're looking for, you can see the points of the ellipse stand out. All right. So it's actually where the diagonal lines from point C meet the lines, the diagonal lines of point D. Where they intersect, those are the points for our ellipse. So I'm using the spline command and I'm simply going around to these points, you can see them, where the diagonal lines from C and D intersect. So I'm going around, going around, and this is it. This is the ellipse. All right, I'm just gonna change the layer, change it to the outline so that you can see it more easily. But this is the construction method for, um, for constructing an ellipse using the rectangular method. Now, I only divided my lines into three parts. You can divide it into four or five or how many ever if you desire more points along the ellipse. All right, I'll also link, I'll be sure to link below um, how to construct an ellipse using the concentric circles method. And if you learned anything in this video, please like and subscribe.